Hello everybody, today I will show you how to create an Android application that is related to dictionary. Okay, so before we start, I show the application first. So, this application called Uncle Dictionary. This is mine, that is also available on Play Store too. Okay, so this dictionary. This dictionary is for English Khmer, Khmer English, and Khmer Khmer. Okay, so this this dictionary is come up with a toolbar, and on the right side is come up with option menu. Okay, so the user can uh, can uh, choose the dictionary type which they want. Okay, so if they want a uh, English Khmer, okay. So and on the left line is come up with navigation. Okay, navigation menu that is come up with find menu. Okay. And this is, is the fact that allow the user filter the word that they want. Okay. So we just click on it and it will show the detail. And this also available with a uh, sound. And this is uh, okay. If I think this word is necessary for me, I just mark it. Okay, and I go to find it in bookmark. Okay, so this is when I click on it, it's also going to find the detail. Okay, so this is for application that we are going to do. Okay. So I have separate this application in ten part. Okay. So now we are standing on this part introduction. Okay. So and after that we are going to uh, create this project. And for next we are going to create a navigation drawer. Okay, there's navigation drawer that is related to here. Okay, and going to create a custom toolbar that is here. Okay, so our toolbar comes up with a uh, certain. Okay, and we are going to create a option menu. Okay, that is here. Okay. And after this step, we are going to okay working with the preference. Okay, so the preference is uh, allow user allow user to save uh, the application city. Okay, so if I click this for English my and I close the application and I come back, it will remember cost of I store data in the preference. Okay. So next step we are going to work in with fragment. Okay. And next we are going to uh, working with list view. And then okay, list view is here. Okay. This is list view. And next we are going to create a custom list view. Okay, that is related to here. Okay. And next we are going to work in with uh, filter value. From this view and reset data source in this view that is should be here. Okay, when filter we just uh, uh find the word that user filter and uh, when the user change this we are going to reset uh, data source. Okay, so after that we are going to store uh, to work in with uh, actual line that store our word. And next, we are going to work in with our speech library and to complete this uh, menu. Okay, so yeah, in create menu and blah, with have and about. And the last step, we are going to create a smart screen. Okay, so now we are going to create a project. Yeah, so now let's step to Android Studio. Okay, so I just start in the church, so I call it my dick. 
Okay, so I choose a uh, SDK target, a uh, lollipop, and I select the full template with navigation drawer activity. Okay, so and the studio are going to generate project rules. Okay, it's time. So in the studio we generate a um, default activity which is called main and the source drawable with some results with layout is come up with four layout and menus come up with two menu. Okay, so all of this uh, is related to our default system. So I will going to run the first project to show you. It's going to be a great door. Okay, now let's start. So I separate this application in ten steps. It will do uh, easy for you to study if you are already. Uh, with fragment, you can step over with this fragment and going to working with uh, list view. Okay, so this uh, make it simple and easy. So it's going to build. Okay, okay, it's install and start. Yeah, okay, for our default template. Here and here. Okay, so on the next show, I will go into uh, working with a uh, toolbar on the top and navigation tower. So, thank you for watching for today. So, let's uh, see you on next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.